Another beautiful morning. I'm just in my wee summer house. Meditating upon that verse in Luke chapter 18. Jesus spoke a parable saying that men ought always to pray and to faint not. The parable is about an unjust judge. And the widow goes to the unjust judge and keeps basically nagging him until he gives in. So how much more should we pray till our heavenly father? Men, men ought always to pray and to faint not. You know, a passage in James Quite well, if you've been on the road for a long time, Christian. It says that the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. There's something about fervent fer prayer. There's something about crying unto the Lord from the depths of your soul. I watched a short video with Paul Washer, and someone asked him, How do you pray? Keep praying till you start praying. So true. There's times we don't feel like praying. There's times that we just say short prayers and then that's it. But there is times that we should just keep praying even though it's short. Short voice of prayer. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Put worship music on. Rejoice in the Lord. Read a psalm. Read a scripture. Keep praying, keep praying, and then you'll see the breakthrough. You'll see your spirit being lifted up. You'll notice that there's an urgency in your spirit. Men ought always to pray and to faint not. In Thessalonians, it tells us to pray without ceasing. Paul urges us to pray without ceasing, to rejoice in the Lord. And to pray without ceasing. That's having a, con a conscious mind that God is always near. If you're born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, child of God, he is always near because he lives within you. So we should always have that union with him. Constantly throughout our day, even when we're working, even when we're driving, keep praying. The Lord puts someone on your heart. Don't just dismiss it. There's that prompting in your spirit. Don't dismiss it. Bring it to the Lord in prayer. Matthew 6, it's the Lord's prayer. He says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. He's a holy God. He's to be hallowed. Hallowed is his name. Holy is his name. But he's our father. Isn't that wonderful? Child of God. He's our father. And Jesus is God. So Jesus says these words. Men ought always to pray and to faint not. It's time to start praying, saints. It's time to stop fainting. And keep pressing in. Keep praying that we get the answer. Keep coming to the throne of grace. Scripture tells us plainly. To come boldly to the throne of grace. That we might obtain mercy. In time of need. There's mercy to be got. There's grace to be got. There's answers to be got when we go to the throne you never come out of a time of prayer feeling that you oh I wish I hadn't prayed no you feel uplifted you feel regenerated in your spirit you feel that even greater peace we know that we have peace with God but if there's something bothering us 
if we've slipped up, if we've sinned, bring it to the Lord in prayer. Bring it to the Lord in prayer. Epaphras, the Bible says, was a man that laboured fervently in prayer. So I encourage you this day to come to the Lord in prayer. The widow woman in Luke 18, 1 to 8, she came to an unjust judge and he, because of her much speaking, gave her the answer. Gave in, as it were. So how much more should we as children of God come to a righteous judge? He's righteous. He's full of justice. He's full of mercy. He's full of grace. Ask, seek and knock. Come boldly to the throne of grace this day, child of God. Get into the secret place and come to your Father who is in heaven. And he will re re reward you openly when you come. Come to your Father. Who is more willing to give than we are to receive. Come, child of God, will you come to him? Will you seek him in prayer? This land and this nation needs praying saints, people who will weep between the porch and the altar, people again that will wrestle with God and not faint. Encourage you this day, child of God, to get into the secret place. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Saviour, Romans 10 and 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Repent of your sins, a turning away of your old life. Repentance means a turning. And putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he'll cleanse you. And wash you. And give you a new spirit. He'll give you a new heart. He'll give you the Holy Spirit. And he'll give you a new heart. As it says in Ezekiel. So come. If you don't know him. Come with faith. And repentance. That's the key word. Repent and be ye converted that your sins may be blotted out, that the times of refreshing may come, says in the book of Acts. But saint, come boldly to the throne of grace, that you might obtain mercy. Come boldly, child of God, for his, his ear is ever attentive unto the cries of the righteous. God bless. Thank you for listening.